My name is Aaron Gonzalez. I am a SharePoint MVP from Mexico. Today I want to show you how can we get data from another list using Nintex workflow for Office 365. So I do have another list called SSN master list where I have social security numbers and name and last name. So what I will do is as part of an applicant, um, an application workflow, um, I will query that other list and get data from that other list. So the way we open a workflow in Nintex uh, workflow for Office 365 is just using the ribbon button, uh, the Nintex workflow ribbon button. Um, by default, it will create a new instance of a workflow, but in that, in this case, I already have an existing workflow. So we use the open ribbon button, okay? And you will see here all the workflows that you that have been um, associated to this particular list instance. So I will open this workflow. And what the first thing I need to do here in this example is just to get the first name and last name on a given social security number. So um, in Office 365, there are some uh, actions similar to what exists in Nintex uh, on-premise, but there are also differences. And um, there is no 100% parity between those two platforms. But, well, I, I will show you this, how, how can we make it. So, um, there is a action called set workflow variable. So I will use this one, and basically what I will do is to go and say, okay, so let's, um, what I want to get is the first name and last name. So let's uh, click here the advanced lookup. Let's tell that we need to get data from another list. So we use the list lookup option. We select what list it is. In this case, it's as SSN master list. And then we need to say what data do we want to get. So I want to get the first name first. So I have here the first name. And then we need to say the condition and what with what field we want to do a criteria, a condition or something. So in this case, I have a social security number there. And I need to pass the social security number in order to do that lookup. So what I will do here in the value, instead of me typing that social security number, we already have it in the current list item. So here we select, uh, in this case, list lookup, and notice that we have the current item. Of course, we can go and get other options here, but let's do current item. And I do have in my current list a uh, social security number here. So here it is. So basically I'm saying, go and get me the first name from that other list using this social security number and doing a list lookup. Make sure you're just click the insert thing so it will generate this like filter criteria or or value and then you save it basically that's it um, how can we test it so let's see let's create a key here a log let's log the value and see what happened so what I will do here, I think I, I have word for variables. I have first name here. Just double click this, save it. And then let's publish and see what happened. Okay, so the workflow was published. Hit OK, close, and let's do a test. So if we, okay, so I have Paul Smith here. Notice that I have the social security number. So let's run the workflow and see what happened. So if I go to workflows and then run my workflow, So if the workflow runs and works, I shall have in the log history uh, Smith, the, the first name or last name. So let's go and see what's the status here. I select workflow. Uh, it's started, so let's just wait a little bit and see what happened. So here it is. So we have Paul. Um, that's the first name. Get from the other master list. 